Here's a video on how to kickstart your IoT project securely in an hour with Azure and Keyscaler. We've been talking to lots of clients, customers and industry colleagues and one of the key challenges we hear about is how long it takes to get an IoT project off the ground. A large portion of this is down to designing and building bespoke secure solutions right from scratch. Every project is different and getting the security right can take time. Another key challenge is around the complexities of projects, especially around security aspects. It can be a steep learning curve for any new IoT project team to get a good grasp of all the complexities. For example, certificate lifecycle management, encryption decryption key management. It can be an intimidating subject area and a bit of a minefield. And perhaps because of those challenges, this leads to compromising on security aspects of the IoT project thinking, hey, maybe we can tackle this later. Well, usually when security is done as an afterthought, you know, it may be too late. The flow diagram for describing how we can achieve IoT device security in six simple steps. We start with Azure Marketplace and search for IoT security and launch the Device Authority Keyscaler application. After a few initial configurations, we can deploy the Keyscaler service within Azure Cloud Infrastructure. The next step, we can SSH to the virtual machine and start the Keyscaler service. Step three, we can install and configure the device authority agent software on the IoT device or gateway. For step four, we create a device registration record to be consumed by the IoT device, and we can also configure any certificates or encryption policies that would be applied to the device. When the device is launched, it will automatically connect to Keyscaler. It will authenticate itself and register itself. Once registered, a certificate will be automatically provisioned to it from Keyscaler as defined by the policy settings. This completes the IoT device security in six simple steps. Here's a summary of those six simple steps we're going to show in the live video. And now for the live video. We start from a web browser where we search for Azure Marketplace and then search for the term IoT security. This will return a number of security applications, including Device Authority Keyscaler. Click on Get It Now to continue. If you're already logged into your Azure account, it'll automatically take you to the Azure portal. From here, select the option to Start from a preset configuration. This will help to speed up the process. Continue to create the VM. From here, first you'll need to configure the resource group and the virtual machine name. Here, as shown, it is configured to use tenant.keyscaler-trial.com. We just need to check some of the default settings here. Next, we need to set up the admin user credentials. Normally, for better security, we would configure the authentication using an SSH public key, but for quick deployment, we'll just go ahead and use a username and password. Of course, for better security, we'll use strong password here, one that we can remember easily as we'll need it shortly. Next, we review our VM settings and go ahead and click Create to deploy it in the Azure Cloud. Before it is deployed, we may need to configure a couple of more items. For example, I'll just punch in some numbers here to get things started and check the settings. And then we can click on the blue create button again to get the deployment initiated. This usually takes a few minutes. And here we can see that the Network security group has already been created and public IP address has been allocated. We just need to do a refresh to see that the deployment is well underway. We can see now the deployment is completed. We can now go to the resource and get the IP address of the virtual machine. We'll take a copy of this IP address as we'll need it in the next step. For step two, 
we can use PuTTY to SSH to the virtual machine IP address. Here we log in using the admin credentials we configured previously. We need to switch to be root user, and then we can start the Keyscaler service called dfactor. And we can see from the output logs that the service has started successfully. Now we can go to step three to install and configure the device authority agent software called Credential Manager. For this video, we have already copied over the agent files and installed the application. We can do a few checks now just to ensure the install has been successful. We need to check the SSL certificate, library files and Credential Manager executable are all installed correctly. Now let's check the configuration file details. Here we check Keyscaler URL, the device unique identifier, as well as the SSL certificate is being referenced correctly. In addition to this, we can do a curl command to check the connectivity to the Keyscaler system. This should return an HTTP return code of 200 for a successful connection. As we've got a successful connection, the device is now ready. For step four, we need to configure a couple of things on the Keyscaler platform. We start by logging into the control panel using the admin credentials and navigate to the Keyscaler cert authorities where a CA called MyCA has been pre-configured. This enables Keyscaler to self-sign certificates. Next, we navigate to Manage Device Groups. Here, we have a pre-configured device group called My Devices. As part of this group, we have attached a certificate policy. Let's take a look at the pre-configured certificate policy in detail. There are many options and parameters, but the focused ones are the certificate authority set to My CA as configured earlier, we can configure where we store the device certificate on the device, so I'll just set it to a specific path as shown. Optionally, we can also configure any certificate revocation policies and save those policy changes. Next, we navigate to Manage Devices to create a device registration record. Again, here there are a few options available, but we're just going to stick to the default values and just configure a couple of them. First, the authorization identifier, which is a unique device ID we set up in the previous step. We also configure the device group, which is my devices as before, and a couple of others, and save that. We have now completed the registration record. With the registration record now ready to be consumed, this completes all the configuration items we need. For step five, we are back on the IoT device to initiate the onboarding process. This would normally be done automatically, but for this demo, we'll start it up manually. Run the agent software called Credential Manager and monitor the log file. We can observe from the log that the device gets registered successfully and there is an asset to process. The asset in this case is a signed certificate delivered to the device. For the final and step six of the flow, the asset is processed and stored in the specified directory as per policy. Let's take a look at the delivered device certificate. Using OpenSSL command, we can view the certificate details. We can see here that the cert issuer is MyCA, matching the CA that we set up in Keyscaler platform. The certificate subject shows the MAC address of the IoT device. This completes the secure onboarding and certificate provisioning of the IoT device. In summary, we have shown, starting with Azure Marketplace, how we can secure an IoT device with Device Authority Keyscaler in six simple steps. Here are the key benefits of integrating Keyscaler with Azure Marketplace and Azure IoT. Firstly, speeds up IoT project deployments by providing an off-the-shelf IoT security platform to kickstart your projects quickly for trials and POCs. There's no need to compromise, building strong industry standard end-to-end -end security right from the start. And basically, we've done all the hard work for you. Our security experts have built Keyscaler platform implementing all the required security technology, making it easy to deploy, understand, and use. 
And finally, implementing Device Authority Keyscaler from Microsoft Azure, you really get the maximum security benefits and cost benefits right from the start. Thank you for watching. If you'd like more information, please do get in touch.